Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today we are going to be doing a video on the most requested video recently, which is how to get a desktop widget on the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Now before we begin, I got to tell you guys that I have changed all my handles to Nova Spirit Tech on my social media accounts, which is uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'll leave a link right here. And also that if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. I'm just afraid you guys won't make it to the end of the video. So we will be using the latest version of Raspbian and Jesse with all the updates and everything. So if you haven't done that, do that now. And what we're gonna be installing is something called Conkey. It's basically a system monitoring widget, uh, much like Rain Meter for Windows and uh, Geek Tools for uh, Mac. So to install the software, all you have to do is type in sudo app get install Conkey. Now I already have it installed so it's going to say I have the newest version, which is fine. Now after you have installed, nothing happens yet, you need a configuration file. To get the configuration file, you can head over to my uh, GitHub, which is GitHub Nova Spirit, and I have a Conkey file already just for the Raspberry Pi. Here I have a quick copy and paste thing that you could do, and what this does is basically grabs the file and downloads it into your home, pi, and names it .conkeyrc. So once you grab that file and you paste it into your terminal, it will basically save the configuration into your .conkeyrc. Now if you've seen my screen flash a little bit, that's because I'm already running Conkey and it just read the new configuration file. So next up, after that's all set, I'm gonna show you a little bit about this file. So I'm gonna do doing .genie Conkey RC. Now this is only if you are planning to edit or modify how everything looks. Um, the top basically is not something you really need to modify unless you wanna change the uh, positioning and all that stuff instead of left or right, stuff that we wanna do. Anything under text is what you wanna play around with. This is where you have all your system stats that you want to pull up. There's actually a website on what you could do to pull up whatever you need. Like if you want CPU 1, CPU 2. This isn't just for Raspberry Pi. If you're a Linux user, um, a lot of people who already use Linux uses Conkey. And the only thing that I would see you guys changing would be the network. Now, th this is a programmable interface, meaning I could do a if, else, and all that stuff. So I could say if, Wi-Fi is active, display Wi-Fi, or else display um, just the Ethernet. But I didn't do that, I just made this a simple configuration so it only displays my Wi-Fi because I'm usually using my Wi-Fi on my Raspberry Pi anyway. So here you have this little thing that says WLAN. If you wanna change it to the plug, or if you have a Raspberry Pi 2 that doesn't have Wi-Fi or anything, you could just change that over to Etho Zero. And if you're unsure, because you got like a, a LAN plug or something like that, if you're unsure of what you need, you could do if config, and basically it'll tell you what the interface name is. So the, um, my Ethernet would be Etho0, and my Wi-Fi would be WLAN, and that's the spot that you would change it to get the properties on the bottom, like the IP address and how much you uploaded or downloaded and all that stuff over here. So another thing that I've done on this is to get it to auto start. Now here's the little tricky part. I'm gonna leave all this in my blog so you could actually go to my blog and just copy and paste all the configuration files, but I'm gonna show you what I need to do. First, you need to create a file. sudo nano user bin conkey.sh. It's basically going in my system bin file and it's a file called conkey.sh. Uh, started off with uh, crunchbang bin.sh and I created something called sleep and then run conky after four seconds. The reason why I'm doing that is if you notice right now, I just re-ran the system and it's missing the thing that says rpi uh, linux up on top. The, the reason why I have it delayed for four seconds is basically the taskbar needs to load before conky loads or you lose the chunk on the top. Basically, um, it will position this conky to be the top right instead of underneath the taskbar. So that's why I need to sleep it for four seconds. Now that's just a little um, script file that I created for. Now to get it to work, you need to go to sudo nano etc xdg auto start and create a file called conky.desktop. 
here you will create a desktop entry and basically this is your auto start. Anything that you want to auto start on your Conky or anything you want to auto start on your Raspberry Pi, you basically create a file called whatever.desktop in etc xdg auto start. So here I created this file. Again, it's going to be on my website so I'm just showing you where to position everything but it, all this stuff is going to be on my website. And this is a desktop entry for my Conky. And you can see that I didn't even name it all the way that I needed to. I should actually just name this to Conky. And it executes user bin.conky.sh. When you're done with that, save it. And the next time you reboot, it will boot up on your desktop. So thanks for watching this video. If you guys get any questions, leave it in the comments below. And as they say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.